With a little bit of federal government drought support funding, we have been able to reconnect some farmers and rural communities on a unique mobile phone network called the Bush Telegraph. Hey, it's a heap of fun and it's empowering for both rural men and women. It's helping to build stronger communities through social networking and helping to create a true sense of community for rural families into the future, drought or no drought. Anyhow, we were out at Emerald Hill near Gunnedah a few months ago at an evening barbecue with some drought affected farmers. There was some talk on the night about organising a country music concert to help bring the community together and to help raise some much needed funds to help keep alive their last remaining community asset, the old community hall. So the farmers and locals around Emerald Hill got this country music concert together in just eight weeks with the support of a few community groups like ours and the amazing efforts of country music artists like Becky Cole, the band Simply Bushed and Gunnedah's homegrown talent in Dan Murphy. Over 500 people turned up at the concert. Daryl Kerrigan would say that the Emerald Hill Community Hall is their castle. So don't tell the local farmers at Emerald Hill that they must be dreaming when they talk on and on and on about the day when Becky Cole came to sing at their Emerald Hill Hall. This is a bit of their story. Hey, he wants to be in it! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, look who we got here! Hi, <laughs> oh, it's, it's absolutely awesome to have a, uh, an event like this uh, with the uh, artists we have and the crowd that we have here at Emerald Hill. It's, uh, it's a magnificent afternoon. Oh, the, 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 main, the main thing is the feeling of support. I think it's the it's the, the feeling that you're you know uh, you, if you're not on your own uh, that that is that is the main thing and and that other people do understand um, at least to some degree they do understand a little bit of what of the pressures that are on you. Community means to me you know it's an, it's an amazing amount of spirit when people get together you know and when there's a cause that people need to get together and get behind I find that you know even in the smallest of towns people tend to just be able to pull that heart together and, and together you know we can do so much and, and it, it helps the community to grow um, it helps the hearts to grow and it helps if you're feeling a bit down about yourself or the surroundings or what's going on in the community together it just sort of makes you feel better about it. Uh, I'm Geoffrey Furlong, I'm the president of One of a Kind, uh, based in Tamworth and uh, this is our first major event where we've actually got the community together in a demonstration of community togetherness and support. I was uh, with Lifeline 40 years ago and stayed there for nearly 30 years, but recently we found that Lifeline is doing a wonderful job of phone counselling but it lost what it used to do in the, in the early days of community support, local people could ring up and talk to the local. So we formed one of a kind, many people from Lifeline, and we decided we were going to reintroduce community activity in the hope that we could alleviate some of the problems we see on the land, particularly on the land, in towns also, but drought, economic conditions make it very difficult for, well, particularly farm, farming families to get together. and we. We thought, well, this is something we ought to do and can do, and that's why we started the Bush Telegraph program, because we knew that women on the land would talk to one another on the phone because it's free, and they can ring up and say, we'll talk about their problems and so on, which is part of the problem. Paramount that the community, uh, particularly in the harder times, uh, and they've been hard for a long time, uh, come together and just enjoy each other's company and and basically, morally, uh, support each other. Come up and get in the choir, come on. Get in the choir. Yay! Yay. 
Couple of great nomads, couple of born ones too, we don't care. Please join in if you wish. Louder, ladies and gentlemen. The Emerald Hill Pop-Up Community Choir, ladies and gentlemen. How big is Emerald Hill? Well, Emerald Hill is about four houses. <laughs> so it's four houses and a grain silo. Um, we no longer have a, have a, a school that was here for a hundred years, but uh, we do have our hall. And that, that basically, um, the fact that it has endured for so long, basically is a bit of an inspiration, I think, for people to say, well, it's not going to fail now. Heel and toe, slide to other way. Heel and toe, heel and toe. Lies that you would be complaining, have a 